I'm the singing girl. It's time to wake up. <laughs> Hi, Mo! What time is it? I feel like I slept for 100 hours. Oh, you did sleep for 100 hours. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get this party started. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm giving away $500 every single Vlogmas video, and today's winner is... Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, and follow me and 12 3 30. Good morning. Wow, I slept like nine hours last night. Literally nothing can go wrong. First things first in the AM. Woo! All my ladies, put your backs in and lean with it. Stop with it. Woo! With it. Rock. I slept with a zit sticker's paper pouch last night. I feel like you could always count on zit sticker to do what's gotta do, even with the gnarliest pimples. Like, the pimple patches on the inside literally have like spikes on them. And you spike them onto the pimple and it like really does its thing. Oh, come on, it didn't pop, it's just huge now. Ew, it's nasty. Maybe if I wash my face, the, the white head will just fall out. This has been my, my go-to for the past, I don't even know how many months. I've already told you this, but I like to do this little massage when I wake up to get everything moving and grooving in there. I have to call this wedding planner. I haven't paid the deposit and it's giving me anxiety because my family all booked their flights. <laughs> I should probably pay this deposit. Oh, my pimple is like deep and juicy. I'm gonna stop myself from popping this because I will pop this if I continue. I feel like pimples are so much cuter in a pimple patch when they're not in the center of things. You know what I mean? Like I get this reoccurring pimple right here and it's in the center and it pisses me off. Or like if you get one like here or here or here, like the star looks a little less cutesy. Like I wish it was like here. But beggars can't be choosers. Let's continue this day. I don't know how much I can hype up this. Ah! I can't speak yet because I haven't had my coffee. Girl, you best to get it together. I don't know how much I can hype up this lip mask. This is the best lip mask. And I am so picky with anything lips because nothing works for me. Everybody would be like, I love Aquaphor. And I'm like, you are wrong. I guess everybody's lips are different, but like Aquaphor, no. What's the other one that everybody loves that makes my lips look like shit? Whatever, they both suck. This is my new best friend. This is Laneige sleeping mask. The girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't do now. Oh, and you know what? I wanted to do something with caffeine and I realized yesterday I don't have anything with caffeine. I found it. Okay, we're going to the field trip. Okay. Here's the tea. Where did it go? Wait, I'm so sad. Nah, you better be kidding me. Found it! I went through my closet yesterday because I was packing up my Christmas gifts and I found this gorgeous Mario Badescu caffeine eye cream. I feel like Mario Badescu deserves more love and credit because remember when Mario Badescu was like, wow, like everybody was about Mario Badescu. And I don't hear that much these days. And it's not like they change their products. Did we just get over it? I hate when that happens with brands. Like, really good brands, they'll like peak and then crickets. And I'm like, y'all, did we forget? What if that happens with me? What if you love me now and you're gone tomorrow? Did I, I, I need help. Okay. This is a caffeine eye cream and I don't think this is scientifically accurate, but what if the caffeine like gets soaked up in my eye veins and goes into my bloodstream and like wakes me up? You know what? I feel like no matter what, I will always have dark under eyes. And you know what's been taking it away recently? I just forget to do it. A gua sha. Like who would have thought? Also, nothing is a better compliment to me than when you comment like Lua is so beautiful. Like when I tell you that I would rather get a thousand comments saying Lua is beautiful and two saying that I am, actually, that's some bullshit. I am so full of shit. Sorry, Lua. And a little toner moment just to wake me up. I like cold things in the morning to wake my ass up. Gorgeous. I found it. No. 
And it smells like medicine. No, 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 no. The pink one I showed you, just take my word for it. You already know what I'm gonna say with my extra long foam roller for my posture. Um, I've said this a million times. We know the drill. Our posture collectively as the Gen Zers sucks. Gen Z posture is ass. Cause we spend all of our days on our phones like this and on our computers like this. And we turn into the hunchback of Notre Dame. Mo, can you get out of my shot? I don't want you to get more comments than me. We just learned that one second ago. You get a super long foam roller. And you lay down with your spine on it, put your arms to the side, and it corrects your posture. Sometimes I have to repeat myself and save your posture and save the world. And you just lay here for as long as you can. I'd be lying if I said I did this for 15, cause like when I wake up, I'm excited. Like I wanna keep it stepping. I don't know if I wanna just like wake up to lay down. Seems kind of backwards, you know the vibes. My view from the floor down here is sleigh boots down the house. This groovy room literally rocks. I just wish it had better lighting so that I could film more videos in here because it is kind of raw, raw, like a dungeon dragon. Raw, raw, like a dungeon dragon. This couch I could link, it wasn't that expensive. This table was from Facebook Marketplace, so is that. Situation, Facebook Marketplace rocks my socks. If you guys don't shop on there for stuff for the home, you're really slipping. Painted the inside of the closet brown. Thinking that I would do something to shelves, to the shelves, and now they're just like there, and I'm like, all right. But yeah, she's cute. I realized today that I'm actually gonna put effort into being cute for this vlog. Um, Cause I wanna look back at these vlogmas videos and be like, oh, like, yeah, Mama Sita. Cause I looked back from the ones from last year, last night while I was bored in bed. The outfit choices, the hair choices, they were choices for sure. And I'm like, let me like, you know, step it up or whatever. <gasps> I got this. Okay, I think I need to try this today. Except I can't keep doing that toxic thing. Like, okay, so I'll get my acrylics done. Are you like this? Because if you are, I will feel so seen. When I get my acrylics, sometimes, well, now I have all 10 of them, but they are growing up. But like, let's say one of these fall off, that's it. I'm gonna physically remove the rest of the nine with my teeth. Like, I can't. But I got this at-home nail gel kit. And like, I could do my own gel X. And sometimes I need so it's like, I keep finding your nails all over the house. It's disgusting. Like one time I put it in a like a glass of water just as a place to store it and he drank the water. Gosh, these ponytails look so cute. Shout out Story for sending me them. These look adorable. Let's do some cute little braids. I remember like when we're kids and you're just, you know, learning how the world works. I remember the moment that I learned that like actors could be in several movies. And like, that was a bit of a mind fuck to me. So I remember watching Hannah Montana seeing Emily Osment slay boots down the house. And then I saw Spy Kids and I saw her be the piggy tail girl that was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, what? That's Emily Osment. I would feel so sad as like the best friend of the main character in a show, like if that was me. I would be sad going to the set of Hannah Montana and being the best friend. I would. Like sometimes I feel like Victoria Justice deserves a little more empathy, but it is so fun to make fun of. I think we all sing. Like, that's funny as well. But like, you know, I think we all sing. I feel her, like I would probably be just as salty. Anyways, I'm gonna put on a hot and sexy outfit today so I could look back at these vlogs and be proud. I'm giving Wednesday Adams. I wanna watch the show, I haven't seen it. I keep seeing good things, but the trailer on Netflix makes it look like it's legitimately a kid show. And I don't know if I wanna like watch a kid show, but like, eh. speaking of kids, Henny and I decided like no kids at the wedding. We're making a couple exceptions. Obviously we're not, you know, villains, but the kids that are coming, I realized I could tell them, did you know that Colombia is where Encanto is based off? Like, I feel like that's gonna be such a slay for them. They're gonna be like, oh, now I'm really excited to go. Like, isn't that hot? In my head, what I just did was five minute makeup, but I guess it's all recorded and I can actually find out how many minutes that actually was. I feel like I did nothing, but was there actually five? Hmm. Winter fashion is kind of fun. I don't know about where you live, but where I live, it is cold outside. Well, maybe you're like, eh, you think it's cold outside, but for me, it's cold outside. Cause here it's been like 50s and to me, 
50s, 60s, that is cold. But here's the thing with like winter weather casual fashion, like with summer, I feel like it's easier to just accidentally be cute because you're gonna throw on a biker short and a neon sports bra and you're gonna look cute by accident. The thing with winter is you can walk around like this and just like hot mess express and be so comfortable and then accidentally be like totally wonky. You have to put more conscious effort in like putting together a cute outfit for the winter that still keeps you warm, which like half the time, I don't feel like doing. Shout out Aloe for sending me this sports bra. I feel bougie when I wear Aloe, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, oh, don't mind me, this is just my Aloe sports bra. You know the vibes. Look at me, this is such a rare occasion. I took off the hoodie that I slept in and I'm actually hanging it back in the closet instead of putting it on the Tower of Shame. This outfit may seem basic to you, but nothing makes me feel hotter than wearing all black. It's like, look at me, but don't look at me. And if you are gonna look at me, do it fast. That's the vibe. Slay. Ugh, when I wear outfits like this, this is when I tell myself I really need a pair of black Uggs. Should I do it? I could get the dupes on Amazon, but I deserve it. Cute. I hope you're proud of me, because if you haven't noticed, I haven't had one sip of coffee all day. Oh my god, this walker is like haunting me. It's in every shot. And I told you, right, that I saw this thing that it's like, apparently, if you wait 90 minutes in the morning before drinking your first cup of coffee, you avoid the caffeine crash at 2 p.m. Which like, for whatever reason, that makes sense to me. And I haven't had my coffee, so it is that time. I'm gonna make my own coffee today too, so let's go. Okay, so for somebody who doesn't make their own coffee, I feel like this setup can look kind of intimidating. Like, looks like I'm making pills and potions, some overdosing. But it's actually fun and it's worth it. So I'll link this setup down below and hear me out. It's actually not complicated. And there is something satisfying about knowing like if you were to go to a bougie coffee shop, this is how they make their coffee. And when I saw them make it that way, I'm like, that's how I make it. I'm basically a barista at this point. There are ways to measure it out and like make sure you do everything correctly, but like I've done it so many times that I eyeball it. This is the holiday blend from Sprouts. Oh no, this is the breakfast blend. Also shout out to my sparkling water addiction. Does anybody share that? Still water is fab and it keeps us alive or whatever, but this awakens the senses, tickles my pickle, and invigorates me. Ew, why am I literally a freak? Okay, so you're gonna take your boiling water. You're just gonna go round and round, little swirlies. Like, I remember I used to not be able to do anything in general, and something like this was way out of my wheelhouse. But we grow, we evolve, and we learn how to do shit. And since I'm like a wifey or whatever, I'll make a cup for Henny. How Gorgina are these mugs? They're like my favorite mugs. They're so heavy and beautiful quality. They look like they were made like out of clay or something. They're stunning and I got them at a gas station at some random part of Arizona when we were driving to California. Gas stations have tea. It's like bizarre. Like obviously gas stations are gas stations, but if you have a good eye, which I guess I have a good gas station eye. If that's a flex, that's a flex. You can find some good tea there. Like I found so many cool sunnies there, like so many cool like streetwear sunglasses at gas stations. You have to like see through the middle America and find the hidden gems. Not that there's anything wrong with middle America. Okay, just clearing my name. This is your sign to take your dog on a hawk or walk because they deserve it because you deserve it. You see what I mean? Like how dope would this outfit look if it was just all black with black Uggs? This is the thing, like I know I have adult money now, but I feel like I have so many core memories with like purchasing Uggs in my childhood and it being like a big purchase. Like you would get like one pair if you're lucky every five years. Like I think I ever only owned like one pair of Uggs because it was like an expensive pair of shoes and I don't know why I still have that connection to them. I'm like, these are expensive shoes. I don't know if I could just buy them. You know what I mean? But I think it's time. I take my adult money and I buy myself a nice black pair of Uggs. You want to go on a walk, my beautiful girl? On the treadmill, I like my entertainment to be visual as well. So I like to watch YouTube videos on the treadmill so that I'm not thinking about how I'm currently working out, but on walks, since the views are so gorge and I'm just looking around at the trees and the nature, I listen to podcasts. I think today I'm gonna listen to The Toast. I am a toaster. How are you doing? Or like, hopefully there's Call Her Daddy, but I feel like, and you can let me know if you're with me on this one, I feel like she should post more often. I'm out here posting a vlog every single day. Alex Cooper, step it up. I feel like I've been so busy with Vlogmas that all I, stop. Stop, you gotta stop the drama. Ms. Gurr. Thank you, relax, we're going in two seconds. I know. I feel like I've been so busy with Vlogmas that I haven't been posting anything on my story and then randomly I'll just pop in with a picture of Lua and the horses because we see horses every day on our walk. Gotta let me connect my headphones to my Bluetooth. Is that allowed? Or are you gonna cry?
I'm not gonna lie, I ordered Postmates and it makes me feel like a bad adult because it reminds me of my teen years when I would like Postmate all my meals and waste a ton of money and look at my credit card. Well, I wouldn't even look at my credit card bill during those years, if I'm being honest. I would just close my eyes and pray for the best. I remember just being like, oh my God, Postmates is really just where all my money goes. So now I have this guilt every time I order it, but you know what? Today's a special occasion because Vlogmas has been so crazy. Like I'm not even filming this shit, but like, there's hours that go by that I have to do thumbnails and improve videos and it's like I don't know if I have an hour to make myself something Anyways, I post made in Tokaya. It is so bomb. If you have it near you, you need to stop sleeping on it Because I was sleeping on this place forever and I just found out it exists Um, because I need to have something in my stomach before I work out and I'm gonna bring you through my whole workout today Because um, I'm in the mood to go hard. It's a weekend and I'm like, let's pump some serious iron You know what I mean? But I'm not gonna record myself anymore because listening to people chew freaks me out. I know it's a personal problem, but I don't wanna put you through it just cause I don't. And now my favorite part of any morning, I'm gonna do my 12, 3.30. If you need some motivation, honestly, here are some before and afters of 12, 3.30. Everybody gave me their permission to use these, by the way. I got them from the 12, 3.30 Instagram. But look at these before and afters, okay? And it's not even about the way you look. It really is about the way that it makes you feel. Like you can accomplish something in your day, no matter what. Like sometimes I'll be having a really shitty day and I feel like I got nothing done, but at least if I got my 12 to 30 done, I did something. So I'm gonna get into it, baby. 